Hello, and welcome to 34 Tauri. Today I will be talking about a recent explanation as to why there is a persistent lava lake at the top of Mount Erebus in Antarctica. The study was produced by an international team of scientists and published on the 30th of May in the journal Nature Communications. Mount Erebus was discovered in 1841 by the James Clark Ross Antarctic Expedition and was named after one of the expedition's two ships, the HMS Erebus. It is the only active volcano in Antarctica. For a long time, scientists have been puzzled about why Mount Erebus maintains a lava lake in its caldera, one run in the Pacific Ring of Fire do. To understand why this is, we have to have some understanding of the geology of the region and of plate tectonics. The Transantarctic mountain range is the convergent boundary formed as a result of crust being pushed eastwards from the Ross embayment and colliding with the eastern part of the Antarctic plate. Sitting on Ross Island, Mount Erebus is a result of this rift process as magma rises from the lithosphere to fill the gaps made as the crust separates. Meanwhile, most volcanoes in the Pacific Ring of Fire are arc volcanoes, formed due to subduction, not rifting. The chemical composition of magma also varies between rift and arc volcanoes, with magma from arc volcanoes containing a lot of water in its volatiles. This is because as oceanic crust sinks into the lithosphere, at these subduction zones, it begins to melt. As this water-rich magma escapes upwards into fissures in the plate on top, the pressure exerted on it by the rock above diminishes, until eventually the water can just boil out of it. However, the remaining magma, having just lost energy, typically stalls it in its ascent 5 kilometers beneath the surface, and so persistent lava lakes don't form at the surface of arc volcanoes. By contrast, the magma of an alkaline rift volcano, like Mount Erebus, is rich in sodium, potassium, carbon dioxide, and many other elements, but poor in silica. The study conducted by the international team included groups from the universities of Canterbury, New Zealand, and Utah, used a process called magnetotelluric sounding to study the lava conduit feeding Mount Erebus. They found that structures beneath a volcano allow magma to rise straight to its lava lake. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it informative. Citations and links to the sources used can be found down in the description. As with all YouTube channels, please feel free to leave a like, comment, share and subscribe. And until next time, have a good day.